This is where it starts to get interesting because, you know, Matthew Wolf is, you know, you look at it and you're like, well, this guy had a, it's coming off a terrible year. Why is he plus 2,500? But I mean, clearly Matthew Wolf's head is back on, you know, if he's feeling good, I shouldn't say his head is back on straight. It was always on straight. It's just, you know, he's feeling better about himself. The confidence is there and his, it's blowing through to his game. We saw him open with a 10 under last week. He plays tough courses really well too. If you look at his long-term strokes gained uh, statistics. So I'm of the opinion right now, like, as long as Matthew Wolf is like plus 2000 or better, especially in these weaker field events, you should be betting him until he breaks through because this is a player who was such a prolific winner in college. We saw him win uh, really quickly when he came on tour, like the win is coming here. So I think a plus 2500, this is kind of where I would think about starting. And you look at the other players, I do prefer Wolf slightly over Finau just from an outright perspective. I think Finau might be like the more solid DFS play, but for outright betting, yeah, I think Matthew Wolf is about right here. I don't think it's necessarily too high, but I don't think it's too short either. And I'd much rather bet him than the guys underneath him. He has been like super up and down. For him, it's about like avoiding the one big number like he yes. had uh, last week, just one of those up and down players this year. But yeah. he's young, he's 22. He's 22. He's so young.